the Joe Rogan experience. People that shouldn't be allowed to make fucking eye contact with me that I'm I'm having discourses with and shit online. <laughs> shouldn't be allowed to have eye no, contact. No, like I mean, just the because you get in your head. The way pe I, dude, I had people like threatening crazy whatever the shit you hear some fucking uh, 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 college speaker complain about. Uh, ten times over, I had coming at me from from uh, you, I'm gonna rape and murder your niece. Well, let's, let's explain for most people that don't know. I the story. did a terrible thing where I said, "Hey, uh, if you get raped, uh, maybe go to the cops." Uh, on the way to posting it on Facebook, that UCB has determined guilt in a rape case. Well, like this, I, I merely on. suggested. Hit the brakes. Yeah. Hit the brakes. No one knows what the fuck you're talking about. So let's just. Explain Explain the story. Dude, this cop is uh, so strong. It's very strong. <laughs> Dude, I, he's off the charts. And no, he's I, don't, I only too. had one and a quarter, and it is fucking strong. Crank. It's crank. I'm trying to but, counteract but it with this indica. I, I just awesome. want I want people to understand the story. There was a, a guy that was accused of rape, and you had decided like they shouldn't be tried in the court of public opinion on right. social media. Right. And what you said is why, and you uh, said not it in a, a humorous that's my way. Friend. First of all, not always my right. friend. Not somebody I know. I'm not even defending him. I'm I'm defending anybody like. How is this fucking cool that this is going to be tried on fucking Facebook? Someone's sending around a message that so-and-so has been found. Uh, UCB, the noted clown college, has done an internal investigation and determined so-and-so is guilty of rape. So if you have any information, come in. That's on Facebook. Now, what, Did they really say it that way? It was first in an online woman group. Then it got leaked onto regular Facebook. But is it? But is a representative of the UCB that said that they? No, have UCB didn't. Fu it was some fucking girl on her own. Oh, I found okay. out well, later. That's a big difference, right? Like, but she you, did the way it you just under the it, umbrella of UCB. Did she do it under the UCB Twitter page or Facebook page, rather? I have no idea. It was from Twitter or, or something. Well, whatever it is. I mean, she could have just been a I found from Mike Che. I, I saw it on Mike Che's page. It wasn't even the thing okay, I found. The problem yeah. is if you're saying the UCB did it and they didn't, it's that's... No, the, no, they did not. They did, they no, no, did no, no. not. But you said they... Okay. She said, said that. She said you, that. But you said the UCB determined right. that it was right. I, I saw a post that said that. Right. And this from is this, from just, a person. But yeah. she said it. The right. UCB didn't say it. No, it's not their official word at all. Right. Okay. So it's just a person. Yeah, no, let's so, be very clear about right. that. Okay. They never claimed that. Right. It was a person who I think was like a rape counselor or something or somebody to deal with like this. There's a bunch it was of people like a rapey just, job. So something happened between <laughs> well, improv, I guess. performers. Something happened between performers and this one guy was being accused and right. you said he just real simple without knowing who's guilty or well, not. You said he shouldn't be tried in the court of public he called, opinion. Here's what happened. A, a guy that opened for me somewhere was friends with him and go, hey, can he call you? Now, first question, why call me? Right. Uh, what, what am I, a noted rape investigator on Facebook? <laughs> I think just because I was somebody that yelled, and this is me not being aware of what's building up. I just yell out on Facebook about stuff and I had a following. So it's almost like a, Oh, like, uh, uh, can you talk to you and then throw your weight behind? You know, I, right. I think it was like, uh, but I'm, you know, I didn't look at it as shit at, at Facebook like that. Like, it was like not, I didn't understand, <laughs> like, how people were looking at my Facebook. It, it, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I talked to the guy on the phone, uh, uh, and, and he told me something I think was a lie. I mean, you know, obviously I can't say one or the other, but looking back, I think what he told me was a lie. That uh, people were accusing him because he didn't book them on his show, which just doesn't really make a lot of sense. That's Dude, crazy. Comedy, yeah. comedy's you changed so if much. Women were that quick to pull the trigger on a rape act. Are you looking at yeah. how evil they would have to be? Yeah, to go, right. Oh, he won't book me. He fucking raped I mean, me. Like, yeah. Do you know how crazy that accusation I mean, is? I can believe they would be in, involved in comedy, but that many at once together. It's like light me, light me at eight minutes. Uh, make it ten, or else we got a rape on our hands. Well, yeah, that's but, so crazy. But my point was, if this dude's guilty, this is worse because right. what you've done is handed somebody a lawsuit. You can't defame someone like that, and it's like, like you just get sued for that. And yeah, also, you, this you, is, you have this, to be convicted before you're allowed to say that, like legally. But to right? me, it's not. I mean, it's like they're taking the campus thing of like where we're going to have a college campus say kick you out of school for that rape you committed. Dude, and what then, you said was that's undeniably not a punishment. Let's not talk over each other. Let's oh, talk, I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. But it's hard that's to not a punishment. <laughs> that's not a punishment for rape. Is you get kicked out of school? This is gender studies bullshit trickling down into real life. Okay, so. The colleges, I assume, let, let, that, let that go on because they don't want to be known as a school where your daughter could get raped. So they let these little groups pretend to have power and do a little tribunal, and then everybody's happy. But meanwhile, a, a rapist got expelled. That's their punishment. Great job. It sounds like the Catholic Church transferring people. It doesn't sound any different. So this is someone, to, so to me, that was just like a garbage ass. If this guy's dangerous, go to the fucking cops. Right. So, so, uh, then I'm getting all these people coming to me about like, don't you dare tell a victim to go. I don't know you're a victim yet, though. 
That's the thing. Like when a victim says you're a victim, if you don't believe them, you're calling them a liar. We have to make sure you are a victim before we say one way or the other. So we're getting ahead of ourselves. But but this is just basic due process shit. I guess the argument is because historically, this is like the argument on, uh, coming against me from feminist thing. Uh, historically, women are not believed. Uh, which, by the way, by who? Other women? Because. What my experience is, is any woman close to me that says she got raped, I probably believe her. And every man I know. In fact, I know women that have g get dudes into fights over shit like that. Especially if you're in like white trash town where I grew up around. Like, w women are the ones that don't believe other women. Men are the only people stupid enough to believe women most of the time. Okay, so that's already a bullshit thing. That women aren't believed. We, there's lynching Rosewood remember that shit that was because a woman a white woman was just believed and then there's a bunch of lynchings of black people Well, I think there's got to be instances we should be very measured about this because there's got to be instances in which women weren't believed Of course, just but like, it doesn't matter. There's a full spectrum. It has nothing to do The this idea is, you know, the idea is that you can't believe them every time Well, the larger point is you this. have to look at it as an individual case Every case is individual yes. and you look at it on it because that's right. fair. It doesn't yes. matter. Let's say no woman in history has ever lied about rape once. Well, you still have to have due process in case it happens once. I'm not getting sacrificed to the state for the good of the fucking, you know what I mean, if that shit happens right. to me. And it does happen. It ha it's it easier happens. than you think. It happens when you uh, uh, have something to lose, like you're famous. Well, how or about custody the cases? rape case? Yeah, and how, how many news stories rape? of this going uncritically believed? When, yeah. when, when, by the way, was someone not believed in the media and, and it turned out... I, I see a lot of people getting believed who lied. None of it matters, though, because, like I said, that has no bearing on my individual anything. Like, if well, I'm a have, victim... We've, yeah. We have clear double standards. Is like when we'll just believe you and when we'll be super skeptical. You know, Barry, Barry Crimmins, like, because he, you know, he, if you haven't seen that documentary, anybody listening, uh, uh, Call Me Lucky is really it's great. It's amazing. So I, because because that guy's kind of heroic, what he did with uh, uh, AOL. They, if, he basically, he was raped when he was four, which, uh, 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 I mean, that's crazy what that would do to somebody. And he, I think he told us talking about it on stage first or something. And he ended up. When, when the internet was first becoming a, a you know, nationwide thing, he was obs there was child pornography everywhere. Like pedophiles would buy AOL by the hour if you were rich and you could just freely trade child pornography. So he had to testify before uh, Congress, the Senate, and AOL had a lawyer there because they didn't want to change their policy, which was three strikes and you're out for child pornography. That's in the beginning. They actually, with a straight face, like we have a firm three strikes and you're out policy. Isn't that crazy that that was only like 1995 or 96 or yep. something like that, it's, wasn't it? Dude, it's one of the best parts of the documentary because Barry's like, well, he told me, he's like, the guy says three strikes, you're out. He goes, yeah, listen, I love baseball too, but uh, <laughs> like, I love baseball more than anybody. But, <laughs> but they, they, uh, the senators and congressmen were tripping over themselves in a manly display of being ignorant of technology or something. Barry, Barry like, really is like a quotable dude, like the shit he says. But, they go, well, I don't know what all this internet is. I just know that <laughs> pornography is bad. Like, some of them didn't know where the fuck they were. Robert Byrd is just like, the scourge of pornography. We're here for the <laughs> scourge of pornography. And at one point in the doc, yeah. he, was, he was talking about how it was almost like the other lawyer against him, and it was who had better stage presence. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, where he was just clearly a better speaker. Like, the, like this really expensive lawyer was just like a shitty opener. And yeah. Barry's just such a <laughs> yeah, he was a performer. Hack yeah. and, ba and Barry got to talk? Yeah, and it was just well, game he just over. Testified, over. You know, he went over his time, or he went over his time, Barry did. Of he course, got they had to change. I, but he anyway, I, I, uh, I wrote to him after that. I saw the documentary. I was like, wow, that guy's fucking. Dude, I just it made me cry, was man. I was like crying from that documentary. Um, uh, well, anyway, so. I don't know why when I admitted that. That's <laughs> okay. When the Thanks, shit, man. The shit, all that shit came down on me. People were going to Barry to get him to like denounce me. Like, I hardly knew him. Yeah. So he called me up. And, uh, you know, it, we, we, we have to realize a lot of this shit because he did real work helping people, rape victims, kids who were building like yeah. Batman shit. OK. Yeah. And and basically he fucking this shit's turf. If you're a feminist or whatever political thing, he goes, you understand this is turf to them. They don't give a shit about an actual victim. So. Like, it's, it, you know, you'll try to do something good or help someone. And if you go to one of these groups, they, they grab it and they use it as their little symbol or whatever. It's never about an individual person. I talked to this woman, at, this woman when it, the height of things coming down to me for saying go to the cops and not Facebook. And all these people are like, no, like the system has failed. Well, you, I, I, I don't know that. You didn't go to the system. So how do you know? Also, you're a white woman. I, I think it'll, it'll, but this, this woman called me. To, to, to be fair, this woman called me who, who wanted to. She wanted to get in touch with me.
some other creep inserted herself like some blogger chick who initially basically they baited me with these nonsense arguments that's what i'm saying watch on there because there nobody's talking to you on there like having a chat or there's what i learned they're they're baiting you to get you to say something that they can they can say i took down such and so and they not there's no I'm, I'm i'm from this dumb cult so i'm i'm sincerely interested in being a chatty kathy me too. Like a little cunt. And people are not sincere. They they want to make a name for themselves, baiting you into doing something and get you in trouble. And they will fucking fuck with you with shit you can't believe you'd be in trouble for saying, such as go to the police and not fucking Facebook if you're raped. So so this woman called me in a, the thick of it. I don't know her name still, okay, because she didn't really know anything about me. They're telling her I'm, I'm a rape apologist, which thank you for putting that next to my name <laughs> online for all time. I have now crazies just come pop up around. It's, right. just, it's just to put rape well, by your name. <laughs>